Fear is not real. It is a product of thoughts you create. Do not misunderstand me. Danger is very real, but fear is a choice. Will Smith in this quote talks about how fear is a state of mind. And I'm sure you all would agree that from a very young age, we tend to develop the fear of speaking in public. Despite being a crucial skill, public speaking is often overlooked or underdeveloped in a child's formative years and children who can't express themselves effectively are unfortunately left behind. Imagine a shy kid who is finding it difficult to express the emotions or address his or her thoughts in front of a classroom. Chances are that this kid is going to be ignored or sidelined. And on the other hand, imagine a self-assured kid who is bold and confident and is delivering his speech in front of a classroom or an audience. The kid will not only impress many, but will also develop a stronger sense of self. If you're wondering how your kids can excel in public speaking, here's a list of five things that you can practice from today. Number one, ask open-ended questions. Instead of asking a yes or no question, try to ask your kids a question where the answer can revolve around various things. For example, instead of asking, was the movie good? Try to ask the question as, what's your favorite scene from the movie? Open-ended questions prompt a longer conversation and allows your kid to give infinite range of answers. Number two, work on expressions. Pick up a phrase, for example, I am the best, and ask your kids to express it in different emotions like anger, fear, shock, excitement, and happiness and then show your kid how expressions and emotions can change the meaning of the exact same words. Number three, play interactive games. Show a picture to your kid and ask them to express what they see and understand from it. Give them tongue twisters or conduct mock job interviews. All these interactive games will help your kid in gaining confidence, developing narratives and building fluency. Number four, make them the hosts. When you have your relatives and guests visiting your house, ask your kids to be the host. Allow them to welcome, greet and moderate the conversation. This way, they will not only learn etiquettes, but will also become very comfortable in public gatherings. Number five, give compliments. When your kid uses a new word or finishes the sentence fluently, pat their back and let them know that they have done a great job. Compliments uplift the morale of the kid and enhances their overall confidence. But ensure that the compliments that you're giving to your kid are not overdone. These were the five things that all the parents can practice to enhance their kids' public speaking skills. And if you're asking me, Vishnu, what's the right time to assist kids' public speaking skills? My answer would be right now.